Hello Audacious Church and welcome to Thursday the 31st of March, the final day of our month of prayer and fasting and miracles. What a fantastic month it has been. We've joined together online, in person, on so many different platforms, in so many different ways, bringing our prayers and petitions, but always with thanksgiving to our good God in heaven. Well done to you for making it to the end. But is it the end or is it just the beginning of what God's about to do as a result of our prayers? I'm so looking forward to hearing stories of miracles in the coming days, weeks, months and even years as a result of the prayers that have gone up over the last four weeks. And what a privilege it has been to stand with our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine, in Poland, in Russia and all across that troubled region during this time to stand with them, to lift up their hands in prayer and to ask for God's good kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven and will continue to pray our Lord's Prayer over the Ukraine in the coming days and weeks, I'm sure. So it's a huge welcome to you to today and we were so blessed in the prayer area the other week when a young man came forward and he, when he was asked for his prayer request he said it wasn't actually a prayer request, it was actually a praise report. And it turned out that a couple of weeks earlier, he'd come to the prayer team in, as part of the service and asked for prayer for his mum, who was suffering from cancer. And she was having um, really intensive chemotherapy, which was really um, causing her health to, to deteriorate in quite a, a huge way. And um, we prayed for him, obviously. And um, he was coming to say thank you because on that day his mum was coming home for the first time in a long time. She would turned the corner and he believed that it was a result of God touching her body and answering our prayers. And isn't that the sort of church that we are? Not a church that has cupboard love, that just comes to God when we need him or want him. But we come to God just for who he is for his character, for his nature, for his goodness, for what he's done yesterday, what he's doing today and what he will do in the future. It's always amazing, isn't it, to share with other people answers to prayer. And that's what this this day, this day of Thanksgiving is all about. We began our month with praise before petition and we are ending it with thankfulness on our lips again. At the end of every season of prayer like this, it's become our custom to say thank you. And we've seen so many answers to prayer over this month of miracles. We've seen cars being provided. We've seen operations being successful. We've seen bodies being healed. We've seen stories of financial breakthrough, provision of new jobs, and much, much more. And today we celebrate all the answers that have already arrived and the answers too that are on the way. The amazing things that have happened across our campuses, our areas, our regions, our locations, in our departments and ministries, in every family, in every person. And we especially thank God for every person who has said yes to Jesus Christ in this month of miracles. Isn't it amazing that we can come and say thank you today for all his goodness. I'm going to share with you a testimony now from one of the beautiful couples in our church and it really encapsulates everything about what this month of miracles has been about and it's about a, a dad and his daughter and his daughter had been diagnosed with bone cancer and this couple take up the story from there. We were able to help them and we told them that church was praying for them he started to talk to me about faith and said he had started to pray as he felt it was his last resort and he had found real peace. They did a full checkup on his daughter, which seemed to last forever. They did even more tests and they weren't telling him very much about what was going on. However, he said he had a deep peace and that praying and talking to God kept him positive throughout he said he wouldn't normally sleep at night, but every night he slept through just like a baby. You know what's coming, don't you? Last week they got the results. Wow, no more cancer. 
in his words he said she was healed there was no other outcome there was no other explanation apart from God coming through in a miraculous way the doctors have been preparing them for intensive treatments at the hospital in Birmingham and indeed the dad had already shaved his own head to help prepare his daughter mentally for losing her, her own hair as part of the procedure and um, they were ready to go the long haul but in this guy's words the big guy came through he wasn't a christian and on sunday he walked into our church he loved it and thanked god for healing his daughter i've talked to him loads through this experience god is so good wherever you are right now just join with me and praise the king of kings and lord of lords for this wonderful miracle emotion and it's just the beginning of what god is going to do so this is a day of thanksgiving, even though you may be still waiting for your breakthrough. Can I encourage you to keep on and to give thanks in advance, to praise before the breakthrough. It's been so good again over this month to um, join with our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine, hear marvellous stories of protection and provision of tanks breaking down and things being diverted, bombs not exploding. What a fantastic thing it has been and we're going to continue to pray press in to our Prince of Peace to do what only he can do in this troubled area of our world. Let's keep on knocking, let's keep on seeking, let's keep on asking and our good God will indeed come through. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 says this, rejoice always, pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances and we'd love you to continue with us on this journey of prayer into April and beyond. Every Monday to Friday we are going to be meeting online at 7am and also at 7pm on Thursday. Please, please, please don't make March a kamikaze prayer moment. Make it part of our habit as we continually come to him. All the details that you need are at our prayer page on the website audaciouschurch.com forward slash prayer plus. So God has done so much, hasn't he, during this landmark month in both time and in eternity. It won't be until we get to, we get to heaven, I don't think, before we understand the enormity of what God has achieved at this time. We stand on the verge of the Easter season, don't we? With the big give local coming up. Just imagine what God has got planned for us round the corner. We began the month saying that prayer was our vital breath. And it's not just for March, it's for every day. Let's keep breathing. Thank you so much for partnering with us. It has been such a special time of fellowship and comradeship as we come to our Heavenly Father and we petition Him and we thank Him for all His goodness. And let me tell you, the journey is just beginning. Have the best day, people, and we'll see you soon.